Well, hello again, Obama Bin Laden. Yeah, it's been a while. Now, normally I'll have one of your videos up. I'll break it down, bring a little reality to the rest of the world about your bullshit you're always spewing on the television and on YouTube. But, you know, honestly, sir, I'm sick of hearing your bullshit. And I've been doing a little ciphering over the last few months. Yeah, I know you probably thought I was dead by now. See, hey, come gut me or something. But no, no, I'm still here. And I'm still busting your balls every chance I get. Anyway, back to the ciphering. You know what ciphering is, right? It's when you add two and two and you come up with something that ain't five. All right. Well, I mean, where do we begin anyway? Because there's a long equation here. I know you only been in office a little while. and Good Lord willing, you won't be there much longer. But the thing is, sir, you ain't supposed to be here. Now, all these vile things that you've been doing. Killing Americans. Oh, you say you ain't killing Americans, but you are. You're guilty of homicide, you son of a bitch. Premeditated homicide. Yeah. That's where we get to the ciphering. Okay, you add it up. Fukushima blew up. You give a statement that everything is fine. Tell people that you're going to keep them informed. You ain't touched on none of it since then. Went and told all your corporate sponsors to crank up the acceptable levels had your other constituents running around on the mainstream media saying that radiation is good for you well, that'll kill off a good portion of the people over time won't it not that you're going to be around to see it because we're going to arrest your ass yeah sheriff of pie outstanding human spent a little time digging into your past now listen here, you son of a bitch. This ain't fucking Kenya, okay? Okay, I know the Kenyans are very happy. Somebody from their village is running the entire country. But again, they ain't really up on all of it, is they? And I was probably, if I was a Kenyan, I'd be happy too. You know? Shows that they're smarter than Americans are. I gotta give them that. Yeah, put a lying son of a bitch with no credentials to prove who he even is and run a whole country good lord now you know NDAA that's just martial law war is simply an executive order and a kinetic military action I know I haven't fully told you what the ciphering was but is it, you, you know we're going to add it up here Okay. And it might not have nothing to do with numbers. You, you see, because ciphering is uh, more than just numbers. I mean, that's all important to you is numbers. How many votes you get and how many coffee mugs you can sell on your Twitter account. Yeah. Yeah, that's all that's important to you is numbers. Kind of numbers I'm worrying about is how many numbers of people are going to die because of you, you son of a bitch. Oh, it's the other thing here. Now you got all these occupiers. You running scared now. Scrambling like a son of a bitch. I mean, you pass NDAA to take out all the preppers and the people that are awake. So you can label them as a terrorist if you find them and Ship them off to Guantanamo Bay and waterboard them all you want. Then the occupiers, they're getting ready to spread their wings, man. Spring fever. The whole country's going to be in protest. The banks are going to be invaded. Hell, you ain't even told anybody about the 300 soldiers that marched on Washington a little while ago here in the heavy. Oh, no. You want to make sure we know about the one guy you tricked into wearing the fake vest to... Pretend like he was going to blow up the White House so all the sheep could be scared that the terrorists are still here. 
Yeah, you're hightailing your ass out of Afghanistan finally because one soldier killed a bunch of people he shouldn't have. You see, the saffron. It's more than just numbers, you son of a bitch. And the number of people that are coming for you, sir, is the number you ought to be reflecting on right now. Because every day they're becoming more and more aware. You got indictments for you in several states. Not going to be able to be on the ballot in Georgia at all, from what I understand. And again, Sheriff Apaya, he's coming for your ass. Yeah. Good Lord. Good Lord. Well, the equation is the ciphering boils down to you're an illegal alien, you're a lying son of a bitch. You're a conni conniving, maniacal, killing madman. And your time is short, buddy. Yeah, it's up in the air who's going to get it, Ron Paul, or one of the rest of them. It don't really matter to me because you're all lying bastards. But what we got in front of us is the here and now. And here and now, you're in control of a country you ain't even supposed to be in, sir. We might look stupid. But we ain't. We're not stupid. You can fool us once. Oh, hell yeah. You can fool any one of us once. Because we're compassionate. But once we know we've been fooled, we ain't so nice. Good luck to you. You son of a bitch.